Gabriel also looks like this Marvel's movie's overall box office, uh, like the pre-ticket sell, it is uh, lower than, uh, unfortunately, I feel really sad saying this because I was really hoping this movie will not be flop, uh, but unfortunately, it looks like this movie's pre-ticket sell, it is uh, lower than Black Adam and The Flash, which is like really shocking. Uh, Although I, I don't know if this movie will be a huge flop at this point. Uh, it depends on the, how this movie's reviews are. If this movie get a good review, especially on Rotten Tomatoes score, if this movie can score a fresh uh, score, I think a lot of people will go and, and check this out later. Uh, because end of the day, first Captain Marvel, which made a billion dollar at the box office. Although many people say, oh, that movie made a billion dollar because that movie is coming out the time in between uh, Avenger Infinity War and Avenger Endgame. Uh, I personally feel like if this movie indeed fail at the box office, all this hater against this movie, which is too much they are, uh, they will be so happy. And if this movie indeed a flop and its box office is lower than uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, like the third one, what, uh, sorry, the Cant Cantamania, if this movie's overall box office number is lower than that, I think all this hater will be like, I feel like they will be even more powered on YouTube. They will be like, hey, look at that, we were right. Uh, because I feel sad for this movie. Uh, I think this movie could have done even better uh, at the opening weekend box office if uh, Brie Larson and uh, Kamala Khan, she could have uh, these two, like these three ladies, if they could have gone out and promote the movie because of their, uh, like the actor strike, these people, they cannot promote their movie. So, you know, a lot of people, especially for them, they do have their fan base. And they don't know this movie is coming out this weekend. So I personally do feel sad. Uh, but again, this movie's trailer, I think especially the villain never like uh, attract, uh, like especially the target audience. They're not excited. So that being said, I don't see Marvel is not doing any advertisement for this movie. So I don't know how the reviews will be for this movie. Are they, do they not believe in this movie? Uh, so many like behind the scene drama about this movie. So, uh, Especially, I think um, I heard that Brie Larson, she was really sad during the production because she was sidelined in this movie. And this movie is not called Captain Marvel 2, which is a huge mistake uh, for Marvel Studio not to call this movie Captain Marvel 2. Uh, especially when the first movie made a billion dollar. I think they made this movie's name The Marvels. Uh, they took all this decision during this, you know, walk era uh, Marvel was going through. It's really sad, especially Miss Marvel. She's such a likable character. I liked Miss Marvel uh, in the Mar Miss Marvel show. So uh, I feel sad for uh, Kamala Khan. She deserved better. Brie Larson, uh, she also deserved better. Uh, Monica Rambo, she was in WandaVision show. She's not that well received, I think. Uh, the way she got her power, a lot of people are upset. That she, how did she get her power? I personally think she was a good in that show. Where is this actor? She has done many other projects, so she's not dependent on MCU or anything like that. I think the biggest problem with this uh, movie, I think, that the villain is so underwhelmed. Like, why didn't they cast someone powerful in this movie? They just cast this actress. Nobody know her, so you know, very unknown villain. Uh, Although she does looks like all from all the trailer, she does have some super power. Uh, I'm still personally excited to see. I'm still cautious. I'm waiting to see how the reviews will be for this movie. If this movie gets rotten on Rotten Tomato score, I don't know. <laughs> I think another reason for this movie is uh, like the underwhelm uh, box office prediction is this. So I'm still really excited to see this movie. Of course, I don't know how this movie will do overall at the box office. Uh, I'll keep an eye on this. Uh, end of the day, I feel like if this movie does fail and uh, it does open lower than Eternal and other movie, these people will be really happy, especially all these haters out there. They'll be so happy and I feel like, whoa, uh, let's wait and see what happened on Wednesday. I think they're... Uh, lifting the embargo for this movie. So I'm excited to see that. And that was my thought on this. Let me know in the comment what do you think about this movie 
opening a lower than black adam and flash let me know in the comment if you do not this video don't share my other videos on other topics if you do this please subscribe until i see you next time please take care